So let's talk about an example relating to potential and kinetic energy. Let's say we have a tall building and there's this mass here. The height of the building is 10 meters and the gravity is acting downward which is 10 meters per second square. It's 9.81 but let's assume it to be 10 to make things easy. The mass of this object is uh, let's say 4 kilograms and we are being asked what is kinetic energy and potential energy at height 10 meters, height 5 meters and height 0 meters. It's also given that the initial velocity is 0. Okay. So talking about height 10 meters which is right, right here, the initial velocity is 0 so kinetic energy is going to be half m v squared which is 0 while the potential energy which is same as the as the work done the work which can be done by the potential force and in this case the potential force is the gravity is m g d where d is the height of the let's call it h where h is the height of the uh, above the ground and this is uh, 4 into 10 multiplied by 10 which is 400 joules. Let's talk about height 5 meters. What happens at height 5 meters? At height 5 meters we know that the potential energy we can easily calculate is mgh which is 4 multiplied by 10 multiplied by 5 equals uh, 200 which means we have a loss in potential energy. Potential energy has reduced. But where did this go? Well, potential energy or the work done by the potential force goes in increasing the kinetic energy because any work done on the system actually increases the um, increases the, uh, the, pot the kinetic energy of the system. So because there's a loss in potential energy, which means a work has been done by the potential forces, there should be an increase in the kinetic energy. So the increase in kinetic energy should be half m v f squared minus half m v i squared equals the work done. Now the work done is initial it was 400. Now we just have left are left with 200. So it's 200 which is the work done by the potential forces. Now v i which is the velocity here is zero. So that gives us half m v f squared equals 200 and that leaves us vf uh, sorry and that gives us the the kinetic energy of the system at height 5 meters and from here you can also calculate the velocity which turns out to be 10 meters per second right if you use this equation okay let's talk about what happens at height 0 meters at height 0 meters potential energy is 0 because h is 0 which means all the work uh, all the potential energy has changed into kinetic energy which means the potential forces has done all the available available work uh, it had so potential forces have already worked uh, up to the amount they were able to do which means they were able to move this guy to from here to here uh, so, the loss in potential energy, as we can see, is how much? Is 400 joules, because we started at 400 and we ended up at zero. And again, using the same thing, that work done should go in increasing the uh, kinetic energy of the system. Then, what do we get? We get. Now this Vf is different from this Vf. 
this VF is for 5 meters and this VF is for 10 meters so half MVF squared equals 400 and that is the kinetic energy at the end so you see we started with the potential energy of 400 and we ended with a kinetic energy of 400 and in between there was 200 potential energy and 200 kinetic energy which sums up to 400 which means all the time we had 400 joules of energy and this gives us VF equals square root of 200 joules uh, not joules meters per second just to keep in mind that potential energy means work that can be done by potential energy.